This is H2O2 from H2O and I have a brand new sensor. I call it the current HE and the HE stands for Hull Effect. Now I've brought in a uh, an associate named Chuck White and he's going to explain uh, Hull Effect for you. So go for it, Chuck. Essentially, as current travels through a wire, it generates a magnetic field that circulates the wire. And by having the wire go through our little hall sensor, it generates a magnetic field that goes through and crosses the hall sensor. And essentially, the hall sensor measures the magnetic field by measuring the deflected electrons as the electrons pass through a thin metal film, uh, the magnetic field being perpendicular 90 degrees to that current flow will cause the electrons to deflect 90 degrees to that or in the third axis um, and the it can actually be either electrons or holes that actually get deflected uh, whatever happens to be the majority which is why they use a semiconductor type material in a hall sensor uh, so in this particular case um, as the magnetic field goes through, the Hall sensor is probably located over on this side. They have a constant current that goes through it, measuring the deflected voltage, gives them a direct indication of this magnetic field strength, which thus relates to the current in the wire. So we can demonstrate that by connecting up our small pump. And we can see on our meter that we have a total of 2.708 amps. Sensor voltage, we're getting 0.110 volts. And this has a calibration factor of about 25, so we would multiply that number by 25, which gives us 2700, which is very close. And I have a quick chart here, and um, 0 0.108 is uh, 2.7 amps. So it's slightly higher than 2.7 amps. So you can notice um, this whole effect sensor is a continuous uh, sensor. Um, you're more familiar probably with the uh, clip-on styles that uh, are on, on the portable meters. Um, I chose this mostly because of cost. Um, this whole sensor unit uh, board um, and the couple components, resistors, and so forth, cost uh, $32 to assemble yourself. Um, if you choose not to uh, purchase a board, uh, that cost is uh, about $26. All these parts are available at uh, Mauser. And um, that's the basics of the sensor. Thank you, Chuck. Yeah, you're welcome. So the next thing I'm going to show you is that uh, the position of your wire in any Hall Effect sensor is not critical. Um, some people have uh, mentioned on the YouTube videos that uh, they're worried about uh, how accurate that is. So I'm going to demonstrate that um, to give you a little better feel for the fact that moving in, um, the wire moving around isn't going to really affect it. So I'm going to turn my pumps back on and keep an eye on this meter as I move uh, that, uh, that wire. So as you can see, it moved uh, one millivolt on a zero to uh, four volt output. Uh, multiply that by um, 
uh, 25 and you're talking 25 milliamps so very minor amount um, so you know I wouldn't worry about your clip-ons at all it's a good product now my next portion of this video is going to be in the vehicle um, uh, powering it off my battery and um, showing um, how it compares to my uh, poor man's shunt and I calibrated my poor man's shunt to be uh, um, one amp is one millivolt um, it's a quite a, a large gauge wire so and I feel it's it's I've never been able to test it at a high accuracy um, but I feel it tracks pretty good um, with what I think is going into my cell so we'll compare those two and that's next